Garmin revolutionized the general aviation market with its G500 and 600. Well, things are changing. There's a new model coming out that's going to replace it. And I'm with Trevor Pegram, who is responsible for the sales and marketing for the Garmin aviation products in Europe, the Middle East and Africa. Trevor, tell us about the new product. What is it and what does it do? Hi, Alan. So, yeah, very, very lucky that uh, today we launched our brand new G500, G600 TXI products. So, as you said, we've had the uh, legacy products in the market for probably seven or eight years now. It's been extremely popular with general aviation customers. Um, we have a helicopter variant for this as well, the G500H, and so everyone's loved this product. It really was a, a revolutionary change back when we launched this um, to be able to take out an old analog six pack, install an EFIS system, very um, reasonably priced, added things like synthetic vision, charts to the, um, to the aircraft and to the helicopters. So amazing product, we've been selling it for as I said, seven or eight years now, and we just launched today our new TXI version of this. So somewhat of a revolution, in fact, um, a flight display upgrade. It's one of the first um, all touchscreen um, flight display products. It does very much replace the G500 and 600 um, series. Um, we have new display um, formats, so we have a 10-inch um, display, we have a 7-inch portrait display. Uh, we now also have engine indications as well on this product. So, yeah, real revolution. We're really taking it to the next generation now. Um, touchscreen in the cockpit started with Garmin with our GTNs. Um, we had it then with our integrated flight decks with our G2000, uh, 3000 and 5000 cockpits. And now we're actually adding this to retrofits with a TXI display as well. So Now, as a GA pilot, I know that I'm rocking around the around the air it's not as easy to touch as it may be if i was flying in a citation or something yeah. so how do you deal with that for rubbish pilots like me it's a great question you know i think that's probably one of the the first things everybody asks when they think about touchscreen in the cockpit and you know i i think you have to be careful not to draw the distinction between the iPad or the other type of touchscreen product that's never been optimized to be used in an aeroplane. And Garmin has invested a significant amount of R&D into our products to really optimize them for touchscreen use. So some of the things that we've done is we've got raised bezels. So you've got the grip on the hand when you're bouncing around in turbulence. Um, we've got real icon driven menu systems. So the real big icons that you can touch. Um, we've also optimized the software. so. Um, certain features, certain things that you touch are very much um, easy to use and, and kind of typical things that you would do for changing the barrow, for example, changing the heading. You can still use the knob to do that. So very optimized for the use in uh, aircraft platforms. Now you see this uh, as being for the, the GM market. Do you see it moving up at all? Is it going to be a family? Yeah, absolutely. So with the G500 and 600 products, that was very much general aviation. Um, we now have a new product that is launched with this family called the G700 TXI and that's really moving us into the larger aircraft business jets, um, maybe commercial applications. It has the correct design assurance levels, it has the correct software support and things like that. So very much a family of products with a roadmap moving into the bigger systems. And I've got to ask you, what about helicopters? You mentioned them at the beginning with uh, the G500 each. Yeah. What's happening with this? So. The G500H uh, continues the product today. Um, it's an uh, um, excellent product, just like the G500 and 600. I think it's obvious the way that the market's going for Garmin. Um, you know, we have this new, brand new family of products now. Um, so watch this space, I think. Um, maybe we'll have something to talk about in February um, next year. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Great. Trevor, thank you very much for your time. Thank you.